dark, gloomy day in North Wales on the 16th of November 2020. Never did I think it would be the day that we saw the takeover of Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. It has happened. Wrexham are going to the Premier League, I'd say. But yes, it has happened. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney have taken over the club. Wow, what a... What just what a moment for the club. The history of if you see on bright red, I've just run home. The history of the club is going to be saved by these two people. Oh, I, I just can't believe it. Rob, right? Who would have thought two years ago, Ryan Reynolds, when we were suffering like mid table, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, two, two of the world's most well known people, would take over Wrexham. Now, I just can't, I can't get my, I can't get my head around it. It's mental. Um, and I'm just going to be telling you a couple of reasons why they have brought the club. The first one being Wrexham is a blue collar town with a coal mining history. Now, if you didn't know, the reason behind this is because of Rob's grandfather. He was a coal miner and Ryan Reynolds' ancestors were uh, had something to do with a longshoreman. If you don't know what a longshoreman is, then it's a person who loads and unloads cargo for ships. So there's a bit of um, a connection between those two um, subjects and people so that's one of the reasons why uh, it has happened the second one is to use the resources basically their money that they have to grow the exposure of the club now this could be if they pump the money that the fans want them to we could be having a league one standard team next season in the national league if we don't go up now why wouldn't they want to make the third world third oldest team in the world more well known globally like third world third sorry third most well-known club in the world why can't you have the third most well-known like history in the club well you do obviously but why can't we be in there with the top five most well-known clubs in the world now they would have to bring a new manager in to replace Keats who knows this league and knows the EFL some vastly experienced players and gifted players who know how to play in this level um, and know how to perform as well so yeah, and they would have to put money into the new training facility. So the money is there. Why can't we just go for it? Um, the third point I wanted to say is to protect the heritage the club has made. Now, if you didn't know, Wrexham have been a club for 156 years. We've seen some very big ups and some very, very bad downs. Now, they've obviously seen obviously the decline the club has had in the recent years. And... If I was put in their shoes, they probably are thinking they want us to be an EFL club and they want the race course to be full again and they don't want us to continue to struggle and push the fans away from the club they know and love and have watched for the last couple of, well, last like decade or two. And they want, obviously, the race course to be full, eight 9,000 fans packed into the race course, cheering on the Reds and making it a happy place to go and hopefully seeing us rise up to the club we were originally. Now... The fourth point is to reward the supporters who have stayed loyal to the club. And this is not a brain right, but I, as, as a family, we have stayed loyal. We've gone to as many home games as we can. And this is this is a massive reward for us. This is like winning the lottery, seeing these two come in charge. Um, it's just mental. We've, we, well, I've watched Wrexham for eight years now. Never did I think when I started eight years time we'd have probably the like, second or third most well-known Canadian uh, take over the club who has millions and millions of pounds like it's just hard to get your mind around um, and yet it's just absolutely mind-blowing now what does this mean for the club going forward it definitely means that we we are going to have a better team better manager better facilities the cop will hopefully have work done on it. So that's going to expand our capacity to at least 15,000. And I want to see 15,000 fans in the race course again because it's what we deserve as fans. Like last season, we were battling for relegation, like 20th, 21st. We were bottom for a couple of games of the season, but yet 4,000 loyal diehard Wrexham fans packed into the stadium. Now, as well, I don't want people to be flying over to England, uh, to Wales, sorry, to watch Wrexham just because they love Ryan Reynolds and they're like a fanboy and everything. Um, we want supporters who have stayed loyal and hopefully they can reward they, uh, us as fans by seeing us get promoted and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick video. That's absolutely mental to hear the news. I was on the bus and it came through. It's just mind-boggling. 98.6 of the votes were in favour of the takeover. 
why were 1.4 not? Like, there was one person on the Zoom call that didn't, um, which is fair enough, everyone can't say yes and can't have the same opinion, um, but on the Zoom call they did say they wanted to take the club forward um, and make us big and glo more well-known globally. This is a massive, and if you haven't seen the Twitter post they put out, why Wrexham? Exactly, why, why, why Wrexham? It is just mad. Um, and then, yeah, all oh, the lights has gone out. Um, so yeah, I think that's where I'm going to sign off this video, to be honest. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And wow, 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 wow. Even if you're not a Wrexham fan, you can surely think this is probably one of the biggest footballing moments we've had this season. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Come on, the Reds. Guys, <laughs> get in, get in. Get into all the salty Chester fans out there. We are Wrexham. We are always going to be bigger than you. See you guys next time.